Adobe FrameMaker 2019 lets you create structured content by developing an EDD. However, the EDD should be extensively tested before authors start to write content. Let's find out how to do a basic test of the structure as it may be used by an author. In this EDD, the valid highest level element is the topic. The rules for the topic define elements including title and body. In the same way, the body has a rule allowing a paragraph and section. We're going to test this in a new document to ensure the structure works as expected. I'll use the file menu and create a new portrait document to get started. A new untitled document is created. Notice the background? The original topic EDD is still open as well. Under the file menu, I can import the element definitions. This allows the rules of the EDD to be imported to the current document. The first time you import, you'll have to specify the topic EDD document and then click Import. If the import is unsuccessful, an error report is generated. The report contains hyperlinks to the EDD. There is also information about the types of errors. The example you see here has no errors, so just click OK. Now I get to test the EDD inside the template and see if I get the expected results. To begin, I'll double click and insert a topic. So far, so good. Next, I will double click Title. Title allows text. That's the rule defined in the EDD. So to test the author's experience, I'll type. Text appears formatted using the default body paragraph. At present, there are no formatting rules in my EDD, only structural rules, so we cannot expect format changes yet. In the structure view, I can click above and to the right of the red box. As an author, I know the red box indicates a missing element. My EDD specifies body is required, so I'll double click and insert one. The element catalog allows an optional paragraph element. To insert it, double click P. I'll go ahead and insert text by typing. You can also see the elements catalog. It shows support for the other elements the EDD developer created. This includes italic and unordered list content, defined as I and UL. The EDD rules allow me to insert optional elements to add if I so choose. For now, I'll click below the P element and above and to the right of that red error box. The missing element is the required section, so I'll double click it. An EDD can be developed so it automatically inserts child elements. For example, if adding a section element, then the child title element could be automatically inserted. This may be a good note to take back to the EDD developer as a suggestion to make it easier for the author to create content. For now, let's double click the title element and insert it manually. Text is always optional. I'm going to go ahead and type into the title element. The section has additional required information that appears after the title. To continue my EDD test, I'm going to add in a P element. I can continue to add text and elements as required to test all of the functionality that I expect from the EDD inside this document. Remember, the EDD has no format rules for any content. Therefore, the default body paragraph format will be used for everything inside the document. All of the format can, of course, be totally customized. For now, let's test the structure of the unordered list and the list items. Had the developer set up the rules in the EDD so that the unordered list has a nested list item, then this would have been automatically inserted for you. However, here we continue to manually test the element rules. Text is always optional. Before typing, I'll choose to first insert another list item within the unordered list. Now that I've inserted two list item elements, I'll go back to the first and add some text. I can just type text into each list item and click between them and navigate the structure. Testing shows that I can insert elements as expected. I'm going to save the document, and in later materials, we'll return to do other testing of the rules and format instructions. Remember, this is both a structure document and a FrameMaker file. If later this document is saved as XML, it can be transformed to just markup. 
but for now, it also retains all the FrameMaker properties. I already have a folder on the desktop for my tutorials, and it contains the EDD from earlier. To keep my workflow simple, I will save my file into the same location. I've now tested my EDD for content. To do so, I imported the EDD into a blank document, added some initial content, and reviewed the structure. The format is not yet defined in the EDD, so all content looks like a body paragraph. However, I can continue to reorganize and modify the structure to test all aspects of the EDD. Every structural combination could be tested and reviewed for accuracy. Results of the testing could be provided to my EDD developer. Then, through ongoing iterative development, we ensure authors can create professionally structured content. In summary, we already had an EDD to test, so we created a new, blank document, imported the EDD so that we had all the structural rules to work with, and then started inserting elements. While no format was assigned, the structure was fully tested, and we can see that at the end of this, we have a topic that contains all of the required and a mix of optional elements.